be fast about it, or else this fight will be over in a matter of seconds. Some kind Six of weapon. Minutes. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my wife Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 2, Episode 8 of My Hero Academia, Battle On Challengers. Battle On Challengers. Good shit. What do we think? This sounds like a call to act, not a call to action, a cheer a chant of some sort. You've been talking about how supportive the crowd's been. Yeah, I mean, everyone's really very excited. nice. Yeah, we'll see uh, how the battle matchups go this time. And if you are excited for more My Hero Academia, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. So welcome to two times a week. We're going to be releasing episodes now on Sundays and Fridays for YouTube. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms. But are we excited for episode eight of My Hero Academia? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Take a bit of time. Very cool. This is who you were based off. The boy with the electric personality. Another hero in the making. Denki Kaminari. All right. He needs to work with someone water based. Ooh, yeah. I want to see a super flashy battle this time. Please pardon the interruption. I'm not you. sure why you called me an assassin. I've come to the festival in search of victory, not to take my opponent's life. <laughs> that wouldn't be in line with the values of a hero at all. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. Gentlemen, I didn't enter UA for wicked or selfish reasons, <laughs> but to deliver salvation to others. <laughs> it is my humble quest to spread true good across this world. <laughs> Shut sorry. up. That was my bad, okay? <laughs> One B was a jerk. Look at those big, beautiful eyes. Oh. And it looks like she might be strong too. Come on, you idiot! Remember, this is a competition. But okay, I kind of love that. Oh man, she's so cute though. This is terrible. I'm gonna have to ask this girl out sometime. Once I win this. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> what do you say, me and you go out after this? I'd be happy to treat you to a bite and comfort you after your loss. Cause this is all gonna be over in two seconds, honey. The music? Yes. Indiscriminate shock. 1.3 million falls! Jeez. Oh. Uh. Very cool. Well. Uh, Uh-oh. <laughs> Very nice. Peace is mobilized. Up, Yay. Yeah. The winner is Shiozaki. She advances on. Very cool. I thought you'd like her. Her power is so in line with her, like, vibe. Mm hmm Like, just stop. Shiozaki. Earthquick. Vines. The vines on her head can extend to great lengths. Plus, they're detachable. As long as she gets Very plenty cool. of water and sunlight, they can grow instantly. It's one <laughs> okay. and a hair. Oh, yeah. Plant powers. Way to represent class That's one awesome. Day. Man, she's good. God, Guess this music, I forgot how good it is. Really was over in just two seconds. Oh, this guy. I wonder if his real quirk is the ability to tell the future. Hey, wasn't class 1A supposed to be so much better than us? <laughs> that was devastating. <laughs> just on the wall. <laughs> Sorry about him. I hate that guy. Kamui, did you watch that? Mm. Wouldn't she make like the perfect sidekick for you? Yeah. Wood power. Wish I could see more. She's because plants? Plant. You need some yeah. shit. Just get back to work. As soon as she detached her vines, it was over. No way he was going to avoid those. Yeah, and his electric current couldn't travel through them, so he couldn't hurt her. Excellent offense and defense. That binding hold was really impressive. Smart girl. Kaminari never stood a chance against her. It's tough when someone's quirk cancels 
<laughs> Montana's just identifying with so this. real. With a drawing. Can't tell if that was a good thing or a bad thing. I think you're meant to think that way. Shit. Very cool. Yeah, all of her gadgets. Uh, what's up with Ida? Where the heck did you get all that weird gear from? Hero Core students can't use support gear unless they have to. And you didn't fill out <laughs> any of the proper paperwork for that. Uh, I didn't know that was the rule. But I have to. I got to wear his belt, so I thought it was fine. He turned in the proper forms. Oh, come on. You gotta do the forms. The rule follower. <laughs> come on. My heart was moved by my opponent's sportsmanship. Even though she's from the support course, she wanted this to be as even a match as possible since she made it this far. To have a fair fight. So she offered to give me this equipment. I respect her integrity. That's, That's why to honor her, I would like to wear this gear. Okay. You Pause. <laughs> You'll see. I'll allow it. Really? I guess if everyone's in agreement, then it's okay. Okay. Right? Weird, that doesn't seem like something Hatsumi would do. <laughs> the burn Unless... marks is funny. <laughs> the burn so marks she wanted funny. him to wear this gear. Well, right. Everyone's on the same page. Let's begin the fourth match. <laughs> Maybe it's like rigged. Oh, this is an interesting you love angle. <laughs> She's gonna launch him. <laughs> he has a mic and speakers. Like this gives me Hadley. One hundred percent. Oh, they love my babies. I got this in the bag. May Hatsume, her quirk, Swoop. If she gets serious, she can see up to five kilometers away. Oh wow. I've got sensors in every direction. It's impossible for an opponent to sneak up on me. <laughs> oh. oh. So keeping them up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, she's just using it as like a demo. <laughs> this is weird. She's turning a festival into one big commercial. <laughs> she's like, this is just Shark Tank for me. L literally. <laughs> literally just oh, wow. showing off everything. Oh. What is this? A gun to use against the nets are loaded into small cartridges. before having to reload. And all of these items were developed by yours truly. May Hatsume, support course prodigy. So to any support companies out there looking for strong new recruits, the choice is clear. You want me! Again, I'm May Hatsume. That's H-A-T-S-U-M-E. She's something. And now, let me introduce you to a few more of my babies. Can we 
Oh, wow. <laughs> but wait, there's, there's more. more. Ten minutes Call later. Call now and we'll double the Literally, offer. she's just like, all right. <sighs> that was fun, but I think now I've shown off everything I wanted to. I suppose it's time for me to wrap this show up. She just left. Uh, Hatsume stepped out of bounds. <laughs> so Ida advances to the next round. What? Yep. <laughs> Literally just casually. She's like, oh, that's all I needed to do. Literally. <laughs> but not going to go to the next round. I mean, Ida gets to go to the next round, but you just need to look like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Hmm. Walking away. Yeah. What could that be about? Is she like, I need to focus on my education, not boys? Let's see. He's so funny. <laughs> I do believe you're going to be eating those words, mademoiselle. Come on, Nina, you get can it, do it. You eat cake. Don't you uh, Oyama! I like you're in one of those video games where everyone's clothes get beaten off! You pervert! He's just so ridiculous. Let's see, considering what their powers are, Aoyama will probably keep his distance and try to attack with his laser from far away. So it'll all depend on whether or not Hashido can dodge his attacks and manage to use her power against him in close combat. What do you think? Who do you think gets this win? To use his cover in this ring, so she's at a slight disadvantage. No! Let's get started. What's your guess? What's your guess? We have sort of acid powers versus naval laser. My guess would be acid powers, but in an open arena, a laser is kind of undefeated. That's maybe true. Like, so who would are you, you not just laser? Okay. Would you not just like spin in a circle? Yeah. We have some details. Okay. Oh. Oh. She's gonna make him sick. Oh, uh, break the, the laser. It's his real belt, too. <laughs> I always found that detail funny. Oh my oh. god, his face just. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, she just bent <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. That was a hell of an uppercut. <laughs> Oh wow! All Wait, right. The, I was wondering if you'd remember the the naval laser limit thing. I did not. Our first knockout. That was an important detail. Yeah. I got to see panties, but why were they kids? For crying out loud! The match unfolded like I thought it would, but I definitely underestimated Ashido. Although, now that I think about it, she did place Ninth out of the class in that quirk assessment test. I mean, her quirk's pretty she versatile. Yeah, definitely. Well, and she's also strength. smart. Mm. And she's strong. She knocked him out. Yeah. But, like, right, remembering crazy. old stuff and incorporating it is so critical. All right, here is another match. So, this this episode just is a series of matches. Hell yeah. I'm wondering what you think about this. Who are you taking? Who's the one? I... Oh, how so? <sighs> Present Mike's description of Yairozu. Yairozu. Yairozu was accurate. Mm. With Dark Shadow, he's skilled at both attacking and defending. Like, how do you... <sighs> he can also call upon the creature instantaneously. So there's little doubt he'll start the match with a preemptive strike. If I can make a simple shield, I can block him. But I'll have to 
be fast about it, or else this fight will be over in a matter of seconds. Just like that. Then if I have enough time to make some kind of weapon... Oh, well... Okay. What can she attack with? Oh. Oh boy. Why is he stopped? Is she out of bounds? No. Yeah. Wow, that was fast as fuck. This match goes to wow. That's what we call the good old fashioned yes. speed blitz. Okay. She has to be able to focus in order for it to work. It takes time to think of what to create. Yeah, I mean, that's. Yeah. I thought you'd think that was pretty interesting. Yeah, that is really, really interesting. Versatile, but slow. Mm hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe he didn't want to hurt her. I bet she's really upset about how that went down. I feel bad for her. Okay, let's see who we've got for you next. The second match of includes two complete. Perfect. Nice even match. But before before we begin this one, quick thought on that other match. Like how quick and yeah. Did you bet on the creation quirk? Yeah. I guess in my head it was much more of a like think of something you need and then it just appears, not think of the in-depth, like much more complex structure of whatever it is. And uh, just think of like if it's anything you can create. That's too the many options. it takes to think of which one. Yeah. You're no, getting hit by Dark Shadow. No, 100%. It's really cool to see how big of a difference knowing your opponent makes. Wow, Dark yeah. Shadow is... Yeah, Dark Shadow is a very, very cool, cool character. Yeah. Tokoyami. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Look alive. Nice. Pretty evenly matched there. Hey, Ida, you did great out there. Oh. Whoa, what's with that face? What? <laughs> My face? What's with that face? Oh, it's nothing. I guess I'm not great at hiding how nervous I am. <laughs> I get that. You are up against Bakugo He's after all. walking up and saying that to someone. Yeah, yeah, Bakugo in the first round's scared. a bad draw. Yeah. No. After seeing your match, I feel a little better. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's mean. Yeah, dang. Mm -hmm. I never put that together, though. Was yeah. a mean you did so bad. I don't feel bad about doing bad, potentially. It's looking like Hiroshima's fight's going to drag on for quite a while. They're just in the center of the ring, trading punches. <laughs> just duking it out. Funny, I heard the same lie about you! I'm next. So this is it. My fight. All right. Okay. It's pretty scary. It is really And what's she going to do? Right? Yeah, he would. He literally <laughs> would. And besides, everyone's <laughs> trying to get the top spot in these games. Even if she wasn't fighting Kachan, I don't think anyone nice would Nice boots. Back. You've helped me so much. It's my turn to help you. Maybe I can repay you a little bit with this. I've got a plan for how you can use your quirk against Kachan. Oh, wow. It's not much, but I did my best. Hey! Well, all right, this is perfect! Thank you so much all for right. doing that. That was really sweet. But no, sorry. 
She has to do it herself. You're wonderful, Deku. I keep seeing that over and over again. During the cavalry battle, I told you it was good to team up with friends. But now that I think about it, I might have been trying to rely on you to get by. That's why when Ida said that he was trying his best to beat you, I actually felt kind of embarrassed for myself. Oh, my God. I so never considered this perspective. Really? Mm -hmm. Prior to when I watched it. Yeah. Everyone's facing their future and giving this their best. That means we're all rivals. Even you and me, Deku. So... All right, so she's not taking the plan. Okay. She's gonna figure it out herself. All right. And gravity quirk versus explosion. Like, that's hard. That, no, that's tough. Because I feel like a gravity quirk is so dependent on the environment. <laughs> it's a tie. Yeah. I, yep. the I mean, they were fighting hard. Yeah. Next battle. Here we go. This is oh where boy. It is. This is wild. Yeah, I can imagine. This might be the most disturbing matchup. I know. I almost don't want to watch it. Disturbing? I mean. What is she to do? do your best. Float. You like a this. butterfly. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. He looks like every stereotypical bully in the game. Who I'm personally <laughs> rooting for, he says. Yeah. Okay, stage is set. Let the ink match begin! Uh, there it is. All right. All right. That is it for uh, episode eight of season two of My Hero Academia. You should have dropped out of the match. Here it comes! What are your first thoughts? Very fun episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and check out the Patreon to see these episodes of My Hero early in their extended full-length forms. All right, we have a lot to discuss. Before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions that we answer after every episode we watch, Join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Okay, question one. Um, Shane Gilroy asks, what do you think of Uraraka's decision not to use Deku's intel on Bakugo and to use her own plan? We are already kind of chatting about mm -hmm. this, but I just want to hear. Yeah. I'm surprised at Uraraka. I mean, like, I, I get where she's coming from now. I just didn't really see that coming. Her, like, not taking the plan? Yeah, well, especially because I feel like the whole like oh we're competitors and like on principle I need to like do my best because everyone else is applies if you're trying to like be a hero for the honor but her whole thing was that it was for money anyway that's true I hadn't considered that's actually a really interesting angle I think she's more looking at it as if I do want to make the money I can't rely on you as much as I am currently maybe like the only way to really make it is if I'm doing it myself type thing. Like, I agree in like a team sense. Like if you are always teamed up with someone who's going to outshine you, you are not going to be the one who's picked out of that team, but not taking his advice going into this fight. Like when she's out there by herself fighting Bakugo, no one's going to be like, oh, Deku wrote this strategy yeah. in a notebook for her. So that's not as cool. Like, we'll see if that's the case. <laughs> Cool. All right, let's go to question two. Question two. 
Jacob O'Neill asks, despite Yairozu being admitted on recommendations like Todoroki, she gets defeated very quickly in the first round. How do you think this will affect her mentally going forward? I think it's going to be bad. The idea of getting in somewhere based on a recommendation when the vast majority of your peers had to test to get in and go through a whole lot more, the imposter syndrome has just got to be through the roof. So the, the need to prove yourself anytime when you're obviously like set apart from the group you want it to be in a good way so so she had a lot to prove and it went really really bad so that i would imagine would like validate to her like oh you don't deserve to be here and whoever recommended you is stupid and doesn't know what they're talking about and you're also letting them down because so you think she'll kind of yeah i think she's gonna spiral i think it's gonna be oh my god i made my advisor look like a dumbass because you know now i'm on this stage representing them and just like yeah it's a million things okay so not looking good for yaya rosu in your eyes i'm very worried about that especially because the way that she fucked up was like not thinking fast enough. Yeah. Which, if there's anything I know about <laughs> being anxious as shit, um, trying to think faster doesn't usually work out. No. The way to think faster is to be less anxious. Yes, and uh, I don't think this will help that matter. Exactly. um, Let's go to our final question. Jinchurki87 asks, what are your thoughts on the new upcoming matchups? We have Deku versus Todoroki, Ida versus Shiozaki, Ashido versus Tokuyami, and Bakugo versus Uraraka. I'm really looking forward to this, especially because it's now no one's first time in that kind of arena. Like, I feel like there's a lot of, like you were telling me about this theory the other day that like someone who's been in a fight before, in a fight with someone who's never been in a fight before, the person who has fighting experience is always gonna win just because the like initial shock value of like, I don't know what's happening is, and you think that'll be gone now from them? Yes. So it's going to be interesting. Like the yeah, like the first whatever feet, yeah. component of like, oh my god, I'm in this stadium and I've never been here before. Now there isn't that. Yeah. And they're going to be able to look back on, okay, this is what I did wrong last time. This is what I want to do moving forward. So I think it's going to be really, really intense. Yeah. Um, With that being said, what do you think of Bakugo versus Uraraka? What is she going to do? My guess is her best shot is going to be utilizing Bakugo, utilizing Bakugo, just being Bakugo. Hmm. Um and like incorporate the gravity stuff, but more of like a trap type situation because I think he's going to be so like dead set. I think Bakugo's thing has always been that he's impulsive and even more impulsive when he has something to prove, is extra competitive, is trying to show off, is being judged, everything that's happening right now. Um... And when he kind of starts to go that direction, that's when he makes mistakes and doesn't double think things. And I feel like it would be very easy to orchestrate a situation where he would just like run himself out of the arena, like that kind of thing. Being able to get him so wound, like a bull with a flag, Uh where like he's gonna get so riled up that rather than using her power to like fight him use her power to help him fight himself if that makes sense like he's gonna destroy himself she can use her power to help him but in a like head to head i i don't think she would even i don't think she would try that that died that's some really interesting thoughts and i'm just gonna leave that there and i'm super excited for next episode uh bakugo versus uraka are you excited for episode eight of season two of my hero academia this was episode eight are we excited for season two episode nine of my hero academia can't wait all right let's get it let's go